Okay, so I'm going to use Urban Prairie paper. I got this at Michael's. Uh, I don't remember how much I paid for it because I got it quite a while ago. Um, and for the base, uh, the front and the back cover, I'm just using some, I used to be a Stamping Up demonstrator, so I have a ton of these from the Designer Series packages, um, just the backs of the paper packs, and they're thick enough to use for a cover. So um, I'm going to get started and cut my front and back covers with these, and then we'll go on from there. Okay, so I have my mat loaded with my cardboard-like material, and I have my deep cut blade in. Now I've chosen the pot from, from my kitchen and I'm going to do a um, blackout of the pot for my front and back cover. So I have my size dialed to 5 inches. I'm just going to dial my pressure all the way okay, up. So I have that one done and I should have pushed quantity and done two but I didn't so I'm just going to go line return and I'm going to go repeat last and then cut again. I didn't have to do multi-cut because this is thin enough material. I just had to um, have my pressures all the way up on my deep cut blade and my Cricut machine. Okay, so I have my regular blade in my machine and I have my green paper on my mat loaded and I'm going to take the blackout off and I'm just going to choose um, the repeat last because I didn't shut my sh machine off yet so it's still going to bring up that pot and it will be five inches and this time I'm going to do my quantity button and I'm going to dial it to two. Alright, so I'm going to go and push cut and take these out so you can see them and they're really cute. I love the green. It's a limey green okay, color. So I have um, a shiny side and a matte side, but I'm going to use the shiny side for the outside of my pot. Okay, so I have both of them glued down and now I'm going to do the layers for them. So I'll put these aside and I'm going to want to do um, the star and I'm going to want to do the black accents. Okay, now that I have um, my black finished for my accents, I'm going to actually cut out the word recipes here as well in black. And then when I do my white accents, I'll do the background over. Okay, so white. I have my black accents cut out, so I'm going to go to... Um, I'm going to do my white oval first before I shut off all my fit to length and everything. So um, it said, actually... Um, it said it cut at one and a half inches, so I'll take my fit to length off and I will do one and a half inches. And I'll switch the function and push repeat last. Okay, so we'll cut it and see how it goes. Okay, it looks like it should fit. It may be a little bit um, bigger, but maybe that's, I'll just unload it and see. So, that's the way, that's perfect, it worked. So, I'm going to go load last and go back to my pot. And I want to do the little sparkle star there. So I'm going to go to layers and I will push the pot and I'm going to want to do it twice so I'll have quantity on and it should have saved. Yeah, it did have my two saved from before. So I'll go Okay, cut. so my white accents are all cut out. So let's put this together. So I have all my pop dots on the bottom of my recipes title and there we go have it all nice and it's nice and dimensional three dimensional it looks really cute so now let's get um, our inside papers cut so we can make our book 
Okay, so I'm just going to take a bunch of the papers from the kit that I'm using, this kit here, and I'm going to take a bunch of them and cut out a bunch of pots at 5 inches, so they'll be the same size as the green pot. Alright, so I have, um, I caught two cut on each page. I'm sure if I used the gypsy, I probably could have used my pages more wisely and probably got three or um, maybe even four out of one 12 by 12 page by um, moving it around on the mat. But um, I have 12 different designs from the same paper pack and I have them doubled and then alternated. So I have 24 um, available sheets for recipes. So let's bind our book and put it together. Okay, so I have my both of my covers, my front and back, and I have all my inside pages, and now we're going to bind it together. So I'm going to be using the Zetter um, Bind It All, and um, so I'm going to do my covers first. I just centered it and that just makes it simple. So I can now erase my marks so you can't see them in my book. And now I'm going to do and my inside. And now I will add my front and back page to bind them. I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to take my little pliers the wire cutters and cut them off. And um, I like to fold the edges so over so they're not sharp. Okay, so I have my book all together and I'm going to take my back page and flip it to the front. So I'm going to line all of these up again. Okay, and then I'm going to stick my um, my rings through my project. Okay, so I have my rings through my project and now I'm going to bind. So I'll take my bind it all and I will just hold my project straight up and down and I'll pinch it all together. Now you may have some that stick up, just push them down with your hands and arrange them. And then you can take your back page and turn it to the back again. And then you have your nice little recipe book. So now I can take these pages and I can um, take solid pieces of paper and write my recipes on them. Mm -hmm.